close your eyes, take a deep breath, and steady your mind. You are about to dive into the cold waters of the Northern California coast. Imagine you're kicking out to sea, watching the soft, sandy beach fade away beneath the steep cliffs and towering redwoods. You glance back, one last look at land, and then you slip silently out of sight beneath the surface of the sea. Feel the frigid water touching only your forehead, cheeks, and lips as the ocean folds in around you. The chill is invigorating and your heart races, as if you just stepped into a cold shower. A few more breaths and your heartbeat slows again. Feel the comforting squeeze of your wetsuit as the pressure hugs your body. You're a visitor, flying weightless to another planet. Suddenly, you feel a gentle resistance on your fins as you reach the seafloor. Open your eyes. You've arrived. Your mind sees a forest, but it's unlike any forest you can remember. One that few have seen firsthand. An underwater forest. A kelp forest. Instead of the familiar trees, ferns, and flowers, you see kelp and a variety of other photosynthesizing organisms for which all life underwater depends on for food, habitat, and shelter. And the tall kelp that extends from the sea floor to the surface is not stationary like a tree. It is dancing and swaying with the pulses of the ocean. Soaring through the canopy are not butterflies and birds, but instead fish, seals, and sea lions that duck in and out of sight as they fly, fins outstretched amongst the kelp. You start to see beings that you could have never imagined to exist. The abundance and diversity of plants and animals is a sign of the forest ecosystem's health and prosperity, a buoyant abundance that extends all the way back to the sandy beach beneath the redwoods and the cliffs. Kelp forests and people are intertwined like the tangled piles of kelp that wash to the shore. These watery woods give us breath and sustenance, physically, culturally, and spiritually. We thrive when the kelp forests thrive, and when the forests suffer, so do we. Close your eyes again, take another breath, steady your mind. If there was a forest fire in the ocean, would we notice? Would we feel the heat of its burn? Would we see its smoke and ashes? Would we note the smell in the wind? Or would the ocean's surface betray our senses? As you open your eyes again, you see there is a fire raging in the world's kelp forest. And in the northern coast of California, we've nearly lost it all. Since 2014, from Sonoma to Mendocino County, as much as 96% of kelp forest canopy has vanished and is yet to recover. A marine heat wave extending from Alaska to Baja weakened the cold-loving kelp. And the heat wave coincided with a mysterious disease that ravished sunflower sea star populations, a key predator in the kelp ecosystem. The combined effects of the loss of this predator and abnormally warm waters emboldened native purple sea urchins to clear cut the struggling forests, leaving burn scarred reefs known as urchin barrens in their wake. As we watched millions of acres of our treasured forests on land burn and vanish, so did our underwater forests without notice, invisible to most. California lost two major carbon sinks that absorbed the impacts of climate change within five years. One on land, one underwater. Take a deep breath. Steady your mind. We will face this reality together. This is the changed climate you've heard about on the news. It is here, now, not decades away. The loss of our great forests and all that they provide is the challenge ahead of us. Yet, there's reason to be hopeful. People from all walks of life are uniting to develop solutions for restoring the abundance of kelp forests around the world. Right now, flying over our heads, satellites are capturing real-time information about the health of kelp forests to guide the restoration of our most vulnerable forests. 
Right now, swimming beneath the sea, divers are removing urchin from urchin barrens to create space for kelp to return to its historic strongholds. Right now, scientists are recovering sea stars and developing kelp spore banks to help restore healthy and resilient kelp forests after future fires. And perhaps of the greatest importance, right now you are here immersing yourself into the wonder of kelp forest ecosystems. Now that you've seen the challenges facing our underwater forests and know there are people working hard to protect them, we now hope you will join us and bring others with you. As you ascend from your dive and slowly kick your way back to shore, you are now part of a movement to protect the place you now know. Join us in creating a world where both nature and people can thrive. <laughs>